Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with women's basketball coach Pamela Findlay, track and field captain Charlie Zacharitis, and wrestling captain Ron Tassoni. But first, a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and the athletics. Men's and women's swimming wrapped up the regular season with dual meet wins over Ferrum and host VMI. Wrestling dropped a pair of Centennial Conference matches, falling to Johns Hopkins and Gettysburg in Baltimore. At the Denison Lidlifter in track and field, Janie Fugate won the 400 meters, and Dana Lee finished first in the long jump to pace the women's team, while Ian McDonald led the men's squad by tying the school record in the 800 meters. He placed second overall. Men's basketball fell 71 to 56 on the road against Guilford, and in women's hoops, the Generals beat Virginia Wesleyan 83 to 72. With me in the studio is assistant women's basketball coach Pamela Findlay. Pamela, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Saturday's victory over the Marlins was your first against the team in the top half of the ODAC standings. How important was that win for the team? That win was really huge. I mean, obviously, um, our record is very strong right now, and so we've had some quality wins, but we hadn't beaten some of the top teams in the conference. And I think it gave our players just a lot of confidence, knowing that if they focus in practice and bring intensity to the game, we can beat some of the top teams. It seems like someone different steps up every night for Washington and Lee. How balanced is the team? That is our team's greatest strength, frankly. I think it kind of causes problems for opponents and scouting reports and things like that. They can't just focus on one or even two players. Uh, for example, you know, our sophomore guard, Jackie Clifford, she could drive to the basket and if everyone collapses on her, then she can hit, uh, hit first year Emily Perzik for a three. So teams can't just focus on one person. And it's been so amazing to see different people step up. Um, one of the best examples is first year Aylin Kelly. Towards the beginning of the season, she really wasn't getting a lot of playing time, but she hung with us. We believed in her, and we knew that if she was given the opportunity, she would step up, and she's done that in the past two games. Starting on Saturday, the Generals will face Guilford, Eastern Mennonite, Lynchburg, and Randolph-Macon over an 11-day stretch. Three of, those three of those teams have been in the ODAC championship in the last couple of seasons. Lynchburg was the preseason pick to win the league this year. What are the keys to performing well during such a grueling stretch? You're exactly right. It is, it is kind of a rough stretch coming up. I mean, every ODAC game is so important, um, but this stretch is especially important. Um, I think the biggest thing is that we just need to play Washington and Lee basketball. Uh, we need to focus on transition and shut other teams down, and then, you know, baskets will fall. We also need to stay healthy and make sure we take light days light, get rest, take our off days seriously, take care of our bodies. And then we need to take one game at a time. Uh, we can't look ahead to Eastern Mennonite. We have to focus on Guilford first and then take each game, game by game. This is still a very young team. There are just two seniors on the roster. What are your expectations for the Generals in the near future? Well, we do only have two seniors, but they are two very important seniors. just want to say that first off. Um, I mean, senior Annie Goff, she's been incredible for, for us throughout her whole career. Pretty much been starting point guard, leading floor general um, on the court for us. So we're certainly going to miss her leadership. And then senior Maddie McGuire, she's probably one of the smartest players I've ever coached. She just understands basketball and understands scouting reports. And she's just a great voice for us in practice and in games. So we will miss them. Um, but yes, we are returning so much experience, so much talent, and I'm so excited for our team. It's amazing to work with these uh, student athletes every day, and it's really a privilege. So I think the sky's the limit for them. Pamela, thanks for joining us here. Good luck with the rest of the season. Thanks. I'm joined now by Ron Tassoni, junior wrestling captain for Media Pennsylvania. Ron, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Washington and Lee has struggled to win dual matches on the season, mainly due to numbers. This past weekend, the Generals won eight out of the ten matches that uh, were competed against Gettysburg and Johns Hopkins. Can you look beyond the team scores to see the progress that WNL is making? Right. So, fortunately, wrestling is an individual sport. So, when uh, we go out onto the mat, we really don't need to worry about team. Well, actually, we don't want to worry about the team score because, unfortunately, we are giving up forfeits. and. Um, if we do look beyond that, and which I have in the past, and I'm trying to urge the freshmen to, uh, if we look beyond that, we can compete from an individual standpoint and, and really you know, stick it to the people that we go out against without really thinking about the team score. And, it's, and it, it does help a lot. Um, and I, I've, I've had success, and everyone else has had success. Washington and Lee has competed against a very tough schedule. You faced several nationally ranked teams in dual matches and tournaments. How have the Generals benefited from facing that level of competition? 
Before I came here um, and before my new coaches were here, uh, the, the schedule that we had wasn't nearly as competitive. We were wrestling club teams and, and not as competitive teams. But uh, ever since I was here, um, it has been a lot more intense of a schedule. And, you know, the competition is going to make me have a few losses. It's going to make everyone have a few losses. But at the end of the day, you know, when we get to the postseason and the tough competition, it's going to be really tough and we're going to be used to uh, the tough competition and we're going to be able to you know, hit it with a full head of steam. Last season you won Washington and Lee's first conference championship in over a decade. You're 21 and 6 so far this year. What are your expectations for the upcoming postseason? So I try not to look at you know, the upcoming postseason and I just look to the next match and you know, winning the next not even winning the next match, just scoring and, and, and keeping to my game plan. And it's not really a matter of winning and, and losing, it's just if I can stick to my game plan. So I actually don't even look to the postseason right now. I'm looking you know, to next practice, I'm looking to next weekend. Um, I mean, I do have hopes to be another conference champion, but um, really I'm just focused on week to week. Overall, the Generals are a very young team. Eight of your 11 teammates are first years right now. What will it take for Washington and Lee to continue to build up the program over the next few years? Right, so this year um, uh, is a little different because we're so young, but um, I'm hoping we, we retain these freshmen or, or most of them it, in college sports. It's so hard to retain numbers, and that's the key to victory and key to success. Um, so that's what it's really gonna take is is retention and enthusiasm in the team. Uh, these freshmen really need to stick with it and, and they need to, and I'm proud of them for you know, sticking with it this far and, and if they can do another three years, we can be a real powerhouse in, in uh, our conference. Ron, thanks for joining us here. Best of luck with the rest of the year. Thank you. Here with me now is Charlie Zacharitis, junior track and field captain from Chatham, New Jersey. Charlie, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Washington and Lee has produced some great individual results so far in the indoor season. How pleased have you been with the way the Generals have performed so far? Uh, I've been pretty happy so far with uh, how we've done. Uh, we've had a few good first meets, um, good to get a few races under our legs. Uh, we have a really young team, so it's nice to see uh, the freshmen, the sophomores put in some good results. You're a sprinter and a hurdler for the Generals. How strong is the team in those events? Uh, not as strong as we've been in past years. Uh, it's tough losing Xander Tallman. Uh, he was a senior last year, obviously won the 400-meter uh, uh, championship at NCAAs. Um, so we lost him, but we've had a few good young sprinters. Um, and on the hurdle side, I'm really the only hurdler as of now. Um, but hopefully we'll get, um, we're trying to transition a few of the sprinters. So This weekend, Washington and Lee will compete at the JDL Fast Track down in Winston-Salem. That's the site for the Division Three National Championship meet in March. What kind of opportunity does that present for the team? Uh, yeah, it's a really good opportunity for us. Um, compete against some really fast teams, um, some D1 competition, um, and hopefully inspire some uh, good results uh, to get people wanting to run there again at the National Championship. In the ODAC preseason uh, coaches poll, Washington and Lee was picked second, just behind Bridgewater and ahead of defending conference champion Lynchburg. Does your team have what it takes to win a conference title? Uh, yeah, I think we do this year. Um, it's going to be tough. Uh, we we'll obviously have tough competition from Bridgewater and always top competition from Lynchburg. But we've lost, even though we've lost a bunch of really good sprinters and distance guys, um, all the other teams have as well. They lost a bunch of seniors. So I think we're going to have, we have a young team, but we definitely have really good opportunities. Charlie, thanks for joining us here. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks for having me. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. The track and field teams will compete in the Hilton Garden Invitational down in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Wrestling heads to Collegeville, Pennsylvania to face Centennial Conference foes or Sinus and McDaniel. Both basketball teams are also on the road. The women visit Guilford, while men's hoops will travel to Bridgewater. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.